Welcome to my solar addiction. Today's video. Honeywell T6 Pro Smart Thermostat Install. Hello folks, welcome to my solar addiction and you're probably wondering why I'm holding a thermostat box in my hand. But as part of my effort to be totally energy independent, sometimes you can change out your appliances to more efficient appliances and achieve your goal that way and help achieve your goal that way but we have a central air unit it's a four ton train unit that um, we've had for a while works great we've got two zones um, but we want to control that major source of power in our house the largest load in most houses in the south here is going to always be your ac system your hvac system so if you could actually turn the thermostat up and down depending on how your power and your batteries is going how much pv you've got coming in at any given point in the day you can actually control how fast your batteries get charged how much power is getting used even though you're not at your house so i have one of these t6 pro honeywell smart thermostats on one of my thermostats already which is to control my studio and one of the bedrooms as well as my office but this one's going to control the rest of the house so we're going to show you how to swap out the old thermostat for the new one so that we can actually control how much energy we were using we're not home why should we be cooling the house off that much when we're not home and then once i decide i'm heading home i can get on my phone and actually use my app to start cooling the house off before I get home so I don't have to walk into a, a house that's sweltering heat. So it's really important that you get a control over your loads, know exactly where your energy is going so you can actually uh, control how your energy is used, how long your batteries last, and um, be more efficient. So I'll see you on the other side. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off of here just comes right off that's our old thermostat then we're going to open up this wiring harness and we're going to take our needle nose pliers you gotta press it down And I'm going to pull that one out. Let's get the G. It's out. All right. And then we got an R. All right. Pull that side up. Pull this side up. And she comes up like that. This side, and we gotta do the same thing. Much smaller screw. We're gonna get this plate off the wall, and we're gonna pull it out. So first, we've got our little bag here. Is our new back plate? Looks an awful lot like the old one. Got the screws here. Start this side first. Get this one in started. This side ain't catching much. There it goes, it's catching something now. And there we go. We've got the wiring harness. Aha. On this side it says pull right at the top. So we gonna pull now we gotta get these wires through here and we're gonna try and keep everything nice and neat last but not least okay is that all our children hook on the top and we're gonna push on the bottom all right so now we're ready to rewire and we're gonna have our picture from before we already know where our wires are gonna go we're going back the same way we came out 
So I'm gonna get Mr. Green and I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna start at the top and go my way down. So I need yellow by Y. Oh, where's my yellow? Old yellow. There's yellow. And my yellow needs to go to my Y. All right. I'm going to shove that bad boy in there. I'm going to make sure it's good and far in there so we don't make any cross contacts. Use my needle nose pliers here. See if it can help me bend this puppy around a little bit. Green. And we're going to shove it on in there. One's going to go in here. All right. The red, and that needs to go in there, needs to go into the white, and it goes in. All right, so the blue wire is not connected to anything. It looks like our black wire was replacing that in our previous install, so I'm going to go with that first, even though the instruction says blue wire should be on C. Well, let's see what the hell happens. Let's close it up. So now we're ready to put the thermostat onto the base plate and finish setting it up on the app. So I'm going to put the thermostat on and we can see it is now powering up saying hello. Start setup. So we're going to go to the app now so that we can see how that works. Okay. Press start up on the thermostat once. Yes. And yes. It is showing that BLE, I guess that is 6LE. Looking for the thermostat. Right. Now configure next. Connecting. Seven. The code it's showing is seven one four seven seven one four seven. Configuring. Outdoor air sensor, no. What type of heating system do you have? Conventional forced air. What kind of fuel source does your system use? It's a gas high efficiency. Let's see one, one stage. How many heating stages does it when I say one stage again? Cooling cycles per hour, I'm going to leave it at the default. Same thing with heating cycles, I'm just going to hit next. Indoor sensor, none. What type of ventilation does your system have? Gonna go with none. Confirm configuration. I'm gonna say next. Connecting. All right, so now we want to go to Newman Guest. Enter the password. Connecting to home Wi Fi. Success. Select the location. It's in the home. Let's name the thermostat. Create custom name. Liz. Thermostat. Done.
Next. The installation is complete. Click done. And there it is. It's syncing with thermostat. And it looks like it's ready to roll there. Okay. Welcome. Get started. Skip. You can use Apple Home app to connect to the thermostat. Okay. Looks good. And it's all installed. So now we have two thermostats. And then we're going to click on mode. I'm going to put it on cool. We're going to save. We're going to drop this down to 82. So now we've got the thermostat all installed and we can see that the uh, it's set permanent hold to 78 even though it's 80 degrees it's pretty hot here in New Orleans but I'm telling you right now 80 feels great to compare to what's outside and if I wanted to change the mode that made it go off that would be heat this would be cool okay We've got a menu here. If we go through the menu, we can set up schedules. We could lock the screen. We could set up the Wi-Fi, change the brightness, go into recovery mode, set the clock. Let me see what the clock says. Clock format. Yes, let's keep that. I'm gonna keep that as done. 12 hour format. Because I know the wife doesn't know military time. Not sure what that is, but let's get out of there. All right, but you got the little Wi-Fi symbol up there, your fan telling you that your Wi-Fi is working. Got the current time. If I wanted to change the temperature, I would just bump this up or down. It's on 78. I wanted to leave it there until later tonight when it's time to go to bed, but it works great. And I'm gonna show you it on the app as well. Um, right before we wrap up the video. Okay, so we're going to go to the Residio app and show you now we have two thermostats. I went ahead and renamed my thermostat. Dave thermostat and Liz thermostat are now on the screen. And if we wanted to control things, we would just tap on it and we have access to all the parameters. Uh, we could see the temperature is 80 degrees, just like we saw on the actual thermostat itself. We have it set to 78, and because I changed settings quickly while it was running, it's going into a timeout mode for probably five minutes before it cranks back up again. Um, notice how I have it set on hold permanent. You could actually, for a specific amount of time, you know, that could you could do it that way. But I, I like to control mine because I'm not only going to go by what the weather is doing, but how much uh, energy I have in my batteries. I might be trying to make sure I get to 100% one day to try and top balance. So a schedule for me is not going to work. It's going to have too many variables. Um, but um, I leave it on permanent hold. Whatever I set it at, that's what it's going to do until I tell it otherwise. But your modes, you tap that, you would change from cold to heat to off. And your fan can be automatic. And you could have it do circulation, just circulate the air or just on. I leave it on auto. And like I said, you could create schedules, but schedules tend not to work for me unless I'm going out of town. Uh, when If I'm leaving town for a while, I'll probably use a schedule, but even then I probably will just check the weather and do certain things. But uh, you could also see the run time. And this has just been installed, so it has zero hours. And so, but it's a great little thermostat. It works great. We already had one and uh, got one another one just like it. I could have gotten a more recent model and paid more money, but I thought this was great bang for the buck, and it's well worth it still, even though it's not the latest model. So if you're looking for a 
thermostat will work Wi-Fi and work with your home assistant as well, because I know I'm going to do that later when I set up my home assistant. Uh, this thermostat will do all that. And because it's not the latest model, the Honeywell T6 Pro Smart is a great thermostat. And I would recommend it highly. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video.